Malone said you can tattoo with a Singer sewing machine if you know how to tattoo. So I tell that to Nick, he probably don't remember this. And, he, and Nick said, but they're so heavy. You remember that? No, I don't remember anything. I don't remember the little things, but that's in that article. She wrote that in that article. Oh, is that the one? It, yeah, it's in oh, that is article. That girl? She called you up and asked and, and uh, interviewed you. Is no, she didn't thing? interview me. On the phone? No, she. it was an intervisit. Did she come up here? It was an intervisit. Okay, an intervisit, an interview. Because I don't give interviews. Right. This is not an interview. When they meet Tom, they will realize they've never met anybody like him before. He's probably the most different person, without trying to be different, of anybody I've ever met. I was a Davida devotee from the beginning. It just unlocked this whole world that I was already totally into, of like the Lower East Side of New York. There's this creative energy there that I think Tom's work definitely emanates. He does what he's inspired to do at the moment. He observes and he thinks carefully about what he sees, and he develops his own take on it. You know, well, he wasn't just a tattoo artist. I mean, he was an artist who tattooed. You know, it was all one big ball of wax with him. I mean, everything he did was art. You know, the way he lived, the way he talked, the way he thought, what he did, where he went. You know, the tattoos, like, were just as important as the floor. I said I was an artist, then I became an artist. These landscapes, you want to see a hundred of them? Sure. <laughs> when you see color in my work, that means it didn't work in black, <laughs> and I had to color it. Just his perceptions are so completely unique, and that's what all these years we've been trying to get the high art world to recognize him, and he's just so out there. They just didn't know where to place it. They didn't know what to do with it, you know? Davida is actually extremely important. Nobody gets it, but that's the mistake, because if you don't save that person's history, it doesn't exist. And I stopped going to tattoo shops after a year. Every shop I went in, I tell them I'm Davida. And they never heard of Davida. You walk out like, like you're an idiot, you know? Yeah. I'm Davida. You know? <laughs> and now they're honored to have you. Uh, uh, let me finish. <laughs> Okay. Right. Lucky, you're lucky to go in with the camera. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I'm, I, know, I'm I, know. I, I like photographers. I hate filmmakers. Who is the cameraman representing? I don't know. He just uh, walked in. Local he just no. Or? He's he's doing something on me. We're doing a documentary about Tom. Oh. So. And for for who is the we in the documentary? Uh, uh, so, are, are you a part of Vice Tom, Tom, or, or? Vice Squad? Yeah? No, in New York City, the Vice Squad were the police who arrested All right. prostitutes and All right. this is a Vice. Oh, that goes way back. I see what you're saying. That Vice. Yeah, right, right, yeah.